Happening today, the man accused of driving through a Christmas parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin, killing five and injuring dozens, will appear before a judge. Daryl Brooks faces five counts of intentional homicide with more charges possible. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for choosing us this morning. Investigators say that Brooks was involved in a domestic disturbance early Sunday and smashed through barricades when police tried to stop him. Brooks was out on bond after police say he ran over the mother of his child earlier this month. He has a lengthy criminal history with charges dating back to 1999. If convicted on the intentional homicide charges, he could face up to life in prison. Right now, at least nine people are still in the hospital with critical injuries, most of them children. Four women and one man were killed. They ranged in age from 52 to 81. Two were part of the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies. Wilhelm Hospital. Virginia Sorensen. Leanna Owen. Tamara Durand. Jane Coolidge. Hundreds of people took part in a vigil last night honoring those impacted by the tragedy. The city's mayor describes the parade as a Norman Rockwell type event that became a nightmare. Tonight is the beginning of many nights where we will grieve and mourn for those we lost. Flags, the governor says flags will be flown at half staff on the days when funerals for the victims take place. Chris Nguyen joins me now live from Waukesha, Wisconsin. Good morning, Chris. The big unknown remains what may have caused the driver to plow through the parade. We don't know why. That's right, Bruce. A motive remains unclear, uh, but as you talked about earlier, the suspect in this case, Daryl Brooks Jr., uh, now faces five counts of intentional homicide and is expected to make his first court appearance later this afternoon. Now, uh, they believe, uh, the officials believe, that he was fleeing another crime scene, a domestic disturbance, before making his way over to the parade route here on Main Street. Main Street. This is where we're located this morning. And so, uh, authorities believe he plowed through the police barricades, then made his way onto the parade route where he struck a number of folks, including members of the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies, uh, a local high school marching band, and a children's dance group. Chris, his past is very telling. The suspect has been charged in the past three times in less than two years with recklessly endangering others. In fact, in the most recent case, a woman told police he purposefully ran her over with his vehicle while she was walking through a gas station parking lot after he'd followed her there after a fight. That's right, Bruce. Uh, officials say that that woman uh, is the mother of his child. And so the suspect uh, does have uh, a criminal history. And the district attorney's office had said that he was out on bond. Um, and so, uh, you know, a lot of questions remain as to, you know, whether or not that bond was set too low originally in that case. And so uh, we'll be following these details again. He is expected to make his first court appearance later this afternoon. I understand that Waukesha is a close-knit community. Are you finding it difficult to find someone not affected by this tragedy? That's a really great question, Bruce. Uh, this community is about 20 miles west of Milwaukee, a population roughly 75,000 folks. So a very tight-knit community. Everyone seems to know uh, someone who is connected to this tragedy. Uh, folks were out here trying to enjoy what you know was uh, typically the unofficial start to the holiday season here in town with this annual parade. Um, we are, though, seeing uh, the community come together. Behind me, you can see some of the candles that have been set out for for the victims uh, down the street. Also, uh, we're seeing more businesses open up uh, this morning, or at least getting ready to. Uh, you know, they were spending the day yesterday kind of, you know, trying to process what has happened and was unfolded here, but writing signs of uh, support on their windows. I saw uh, the message uh, Waukesha United uh, on a number of storefronts. And so um, as this uh, moves forward, the Community Foundation, as well as the United Way, they have teamed up to create a community fund to help support the victims and those impacted by this horrific tragedy. Bruce? Chris, thank you very much, and we will hear more from you today as Brooks goes before the judge. Thank you. Jan.